All righty, let's play this in full. First, as always. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. All right. <clears throat> Turn this down a bit for me so it's not destroying my ears. I think overall this is cool. I got just minor notes for the middle part. What is it you want, Barry? I still would find a way to just cut out that beginning. If there's a way. <laughs> so it doesn't have that electrical uh, craziness. What is it you want, Barry? What is it you want, Barry? And then as you continue on, uh, I think this is ready for spline. And then you can start adding a few more details, like at the beginning, if you look at head accents. What is it you like, What is it you want? Like, you know, wands could have a bigger push there. What is it you want, Barry? You know, it's, it's fairly even through here there I mean, there's some movement because it's step but um i think there will be a good opportunity in your spline version to explore there what is it you want barry what is it you want and then also offsetting a things a few things more so you don't have the look over to the left so it's basically it feels like the look over to the left shoulder and uh remote control all kind of go up post to pose so just kind of fine-tuning that stuff once you get into spline what is it you want barry what do you want? I do like that. I do like the timing of this. What do you want? With the voice. I think this matches pretty well the energy of it. Uh, same thing here. You know, he's moving all at once, pose to pose. So you can have to look at what he wants to lead. Maybe maybe he goes forward and maybe just, it's like the head raises, like the nose goes up and that's the lead into like a, an arc down and then the body follows and then legs off. So whatever you want to do, I would, I would think about stuff like that as you fine tune this. You, you want the moon? I think this works better, having that expression, but I would I would take this out and go straight into this. There's still just a, a moment of surprise. I know, I, I, it's very subjective, but to me, I would take that out and go from, because that's his current mood. You want the moon? And then that way you have it there too. But then I will continue and take it out of there. So again, to me, I will bring this into a frown and almost an angry look. Say the word and I'll throw a lasso. And maybe on last, so you can be relaxed there. Just but I'm mostly reacting to those big white eyes, where it's more panic and ah, like you might, This is like the phone is yelling, "You're fired!" or like something like ah. To me, this freaking out thing doesn't quite match the the energy and the tone of the voice over there. The moon. Moon. But in something to find too, when he goes back here, you might want to bring in maybe the knees a bit more. And then relax when you're done with this little polish stuff as you continue on, since this is already pretty far along and stepped. Just say the word. But to me, the biggest thing is this. Just that. That seems like he just heard, what? Uh, versus, you know, that type of attitude. All of this to me, just such a, it doesn't quite match this. So I would still massively tone this down. Uh, and you can, you can explore, you know, just for me, it would be just eyebrows and eyes. And the body could stay. Because I like that little dismissive throw you have here. And the only other thing I would say is that I would probably make this hand off from this into this a bit more casual. And I know he's looking here, but it hasn't ever so slight feel like he's looking at the remote just for a second. And it's almost like he has to really think about. Oh, okay, okay. So I gotta hold this remote. I gotta put my hand down there, and I'm gonna hold this remote, okay? And now I'm gonna grab the popcorn cup here. So I would just make this a lot more casual, where one of the things would help to just not have that look either close or the head a bit higher, or head turn faster to look, you know, somewhere here or here already, and probably not have this hand so like the remote is so floating in space here that I would bring something. You know, if he already brings that remote up, then it would be like a move here, and then maybe he would grab that remote, and the remote would, would be already here. Like you have a, an overall translate while you switch hands to make this feel a bit more casual. Pull it down. That's cool though. I do like the grab there. I think that should work. And now we talked about moving a bit forward here with the body, but I think you mentioned that's a bit tricky with the with the overall posing. But if he goes forward, I mean, you know, one thing you can explore is that, well, no, he has a bucket. I was going to say you could put the bucket on the knee, but that would fall over. But 
it's still be interesting to explore when he grabs this. I think I mean, I mean I'm you know I'm harping on this and I think we're pretty set on leaving it like that. But it would be interesting if if you would try on your end like for just for ten minutes if you grab this and you put the bucket here, which then will give him that that lean over. I'm just curious what that would look like, you know, and then the remote and maybe bring you know, bring well bringing that that foot a bit more and maybe. Maybe he would have a bit more relaxed leg out there. I don't know, just curious. But um, maybe if you want, you can save me the Maya file. Uh, I'm still in Switzerland, so I would be would be next week or in two weeks. Uh, it'd be kind of tricky how we will coordinate this. Um, but still, I'd be curious to just see how far we can push this. Because I like that he's leaning here and he has all of this here. And I still wish that we could, for the very end, push this overall pose more forward. Um, but yeah, let me know and hash out in the email. Maybe you want to email the scene uh, and you can just start splining, 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 splining until here. You know, that can be a couple of submissions and then maybe by that time I'll be back and I can look at the end and maybe do something just to kind of see what we could do with that end. All right, let me know in the email. And other than that, that's it from me. I think you're ready to go into spline and really fine tune everything. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.